Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am freelancer Madhvi and uh, if you are uh, able to see uh, the page which is uh, pres currently available in this uh, screen is, in, is this uh, web browser because I am using Business Central on cloud uh, software and the version is 19.2 so uh, this is a cloud based software uh, we can directly uh, connect uh, this software on uh, uh, cloud and by using our web page and the sp specified uh, path so wh what i'm trying to uh, discuss uh, in the current session see this is a uh, general ledger entries page how do you know uh, that uh, this is the general entries page see the here you can check the page name this is a page uh, you can check the general ledger entries and what it means general ledger entries uh, if you are posting any kind of uh, voucher entry any kind of invoice entry uh, from the system uh, whether it may be um, some kind of uh, transfer entries in, uh, included uh, whether it is uh, some kind of um, GL uh, included entries are there so if uh, you have posted that kind of entries in which you have used any kind of GL uh, and the full form of the GL is general ledger and in the simple accounting term you can uh, just understand that this is the ledger ledger or uh, ledger or you can say a simple account so general ledger means a ledger account and if you uh, used uh, any kind of GL this general ledger in your entries uh, whether it, it may be uh, some kind of invoices related entries uh, it is possible to uh, post uh, from the G, uh, JV or it is uh, also possible to post this kind of entries from invoices screen so uh, when you post invoices maximum times it means that uh, these are the credit transactions and but system involves the GL ledger behind it and uh, if you are uh, posting direct payment uh, cash or bank payment related entry it means that you uh, sometimes you you, have, you are involving uh, bank ledger entries also if you are using bank so any kind of entry maybe it uh, it may be a memo it may be um, invoice it may be refund it may be uh, simple invoice or mm, if you uh, don't want to choose any kind of uh, any kind of entry type uh, and any kind of document type you uh, take as a blank as a document type blank means you have uh, you don't want to choose any kind of uh, document type so that a system will not provide you the validation it means if you are choosing a bank payment uh, if you are choosing a payment in uh, in that document type field then system will uh, provide a validation is uh, with that uh, payment document type and the validation is you should keep balance account type as a bank this is a validation with payment bank payment entries uh, balance account always will be a bank account this is a validation if you are choosing bank payment voucher and document type is payment so if you don't want to uh, uh, put any uh, validation you don't want to face any kind of validation and you want to just pass a simple entries uh, always select blank as a type in document type field or if you want to uh, work with this validation like if you want to uh, book a payment entry choose payment if you want to uh, book a received entry navision will provide you a same functionality for both the payment and received and you get the same terminology payment everywhere whether it may be received uh, or or the 
payment side for the both side in the received side uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can take as a, as a thought that you are receiving from customer equal to it means a payment entry and if you are paying to your supplier equal uh, this is also your payment entry so navision is uh, working like that always you will uh, see this payment terminology everywhere in the bank received voucher document type equal to payment in the bank payment voucher this is also as payment so you uh, have a clear mindset that sometimes you are receiving payment sometime you are paying uh, uh, this thing uh, the payment so this is general entry page and if you if you ha have involved any kind of gl in your posted transactions in your uh, any kind of uh, related ledger entries so you can find that posted kind of uh, gl entries here this is the history of all kind of gl uh, ledger entries that's why this is called general ledger entries the general ledger entries page now what are the uh, what uh, is the uh, list is showing um, you can check with the posting date document type document number jail account number description if you are if you have a uh, department code uh, customer group code general posting type most of the columns you can check and uh, see you can increase uh, um, your uh, area with the expand the facts to, uh, fact box pan so this is the style you can check and if I want to check uh, there yeah this is a payment entry and I want to check what is the scenario behind this entry and how many ledgers assigned uh, in this transaction and what are the name of uh, that uh, transactions so I can navigate this or sometimes I want to check uh, only on the print voucher so you can uh, check that entry also you can uh, click on these tabs sometimes uh, you can uh, you want to reverse transaction sometimes you want to only take a printout sometimes you want to navigate so in the find entries uh, this is the functionality I want to show you this is uh, the navigate and find entries functionality see uh, I have selected posting date uh, 3rd of March 21 and the document number is 103212 and the GL entries are involved in this transaction is 3 now click on the um, GL entries uh, number option and the detail structure is here uh, document type is payment GL three kind of GLs are involved and uh, you can check on the values and if you are showing a minimum values like 0 0.02 point zero one, it will definitely this will be a uh, rounded of ledgers rounded of GL you can or otherwise uh, realized FX losses something like uh, this kind of ledger so you can check what is the ledger behind this see you can check the ledger name and now after checking this go back customer ledger entries also involved detail customer ledger entries also involved and the major part is I want to take a printout of this entry as a voucher printing so what I need to do uh, click on the print voucher option this is a posted voucher uh, preview screen page and uh, just uh, click on the print or you can uh, check the preview also so if you have posted the posted voucher narration at the time of posting entry you can also see the posted uh, narration 
and uh, if you want to increase uh, this page what will you do just click on this uh, icon uh, fit page to window width and uh, see uh, sales retail account debited realized FX losses uh, is debited and to join Haddock uh, insurance company the with the value of one lakh fifteen thousand nine forty point zero three uh, pice uh, you this is credited so this is a voucher entry format you can see this kind of format and the see the layout so uh, the purpose of uh, this uh, discussion is to show you how you check voucher entry printout how you check this kind of uh, layout in your system so if you want to take a printout of uh, this uh, page and if you want to uh, send uh, somewhere uh, either uh, to your management or to your uh, to your party via mail you can take a printout by uh, printing uh, via giving giving the command of printout so this is the general entry page any kind of entries you can select if you uh, are posting multiple lines in a single document you can check multiple document uh, at a time with uh, next next page and if you wa if you want to check only a single entry you can also check so multiple wheels are there you can check and uh, you can take a printout of, of it and if you want to uh, find your entries you can use this uh, option and uh, find your entries and if uh, you want to show fewer option you can click on this if you want to check uh, the narration this is the for the voucher narration and particular for the particular line uh, this is uh, this will come uh, at the time of printing on your print area and if you entered the line er narration because this is a posted lines entry history page so if you entered the line narration this will only keep the record uh, in the system with that posted entry this will not show in your uh, posted voucher uh, screen uh, at in the printout area so always use uh, voucher narration as narration if you want to see in the printout area so if you want to reverse this transaction select and reverse and if you see the three uh, dots here you can process the entry you can reverse you can check you can uh, check uh, dimensions you can check for the value entries and value entries is the most important thing in the system you can check your values your actual values posted into your financials with the help of value entries you can uh, click on this this is the uh, base of uh, the software how can you check your actual values if you want to check your actual values always search for values entries search by transactions search by uh, item ledger entry type search by uh, your uh, required filter and check the value entries history see you can uh, check uh, find entries check for the dimension check for the general ledger and more option you can use uh, for uh, the same thing in the multiple way so if you want to uh, check your values with uh, single or multiple entries uh, your values not only values actual values which is posted to GL account you can always check your value entries so uh, I am closing the current uh, session because the purpose of the session to show you the voucher report so uh, once again I am selecting a different type of uh, document see we have uh, the document type of payment it's showing in the document type and if I want to post invoice invoice means this is the credit transaction involving uh, any kind of expenses or party and uh, uh, if 
you want to uh, if you don't want to assign any kind of restriction parameter uh, to your entry leave document type as blank system will not assign any kind of validation to assign a debit side this to assign credit side this system not validate any uh, restriction so if uh, you don't want to assign any parameters leave the document type as blank and if you want to assign a parameter like I am assigning that I am purchasing uh, something uh, like uh, I am uh, purchasing uh, uh, food and uh, uh, beverage and I am paying uh, uh, I am paying with uh, I am booking a credit transaction I am not paying currently I will pay later so this is a credit transaction if this kind of uh, entries uh, will happen when at the time of uh, booking uh, uh, invoices uh, multiple invoices single invoices when uh, we are uh, regularly raising uh, credit transactions and payment up uh, pay we will pay at the end of the month end of the quarter end of the period what uh, we will uh, settle in the in our agreement with the um, vendor and uh, uh, and vendor and the client between the uh, them uh, if they assigns uh, if they involve uh, with some uh, transaction uh, agreement uh, and agreement is based on this that uh, they will pay um, at the end of that uh, month so in the between uh, ha, um, so many uh, invoices are raised so many credit transactions raised but bill uh, payment will be done uh, end of the month or end of the quarter or end of the period or as decide on the agreement and mutual understanding so that time we are raising uh, invoices let uh, uh, just I s uh, have said that uh, I have purchased uh, and I have uh, um, expense uh, uh, on beverage and food uh, thing so I have spent uh, like uh, 1000 uh, rupees on the in on these ex, uh, things and I have uh, I have d uh, done my shopping with the shopping center and uh, I have not paid uh, anything I have uh, the um, credit account uh, in that Russian Dukan so uh, they they have raised uh, invoice if they are using this kind of software they raised an invoice and they did uh, they uh, issued uh, a bill uh, beverage and uh, food and beverage expenses account debit to uh, to my name uh, the party name and they issued uh, one invoices and a document should a uh, document type should be always as equal to invoice this is the invoice kind of entry so if you are um, booking an invoice so uh, system will uh, asks you for the assigning a um, vendor assigning a um, supplier at the credit side when you are using when you are booking invoice so first thing debit you can debit uh, any kind of GL but you need to assign a vendor in the credit area same for the sales side also so purchase sales invoice payment all have the uh, parameters all of the conditions should follow but in the blank uh, um, if you choose blank as a document type no parameters are required just uh, maintain your entry and post your entry from that kind of voucher screen so if and after posting you can check entry will be appear as a blank document type and you can uh, take a print of, of this so I am just going to show you how to check with the print out of a blank uh, entry so need to expand it see resale item account debited with the cost of retail sold and uh, document type is equal to blank no document type no validation is here so system will allow you to post uh, assign uh, firstly uh, system will allow you to assign any kind of GL any kind of party uh, at the debit side or in the credit side 
and you can post easily without facing any difficulties any parameters any validation any conditions you can post and after posting you can get this kind of uh, document and the uh, document uh, type will be shown as blank so if you don't have uh, any particular reason uh, that you going to choose debit side this kind of uh, ledger and in the credit side you need to choose this kind of that kind of ledger don't put any uh, restriction on your entry side leave it uh, blank and post it easily and after posting you will get voucher screen also so no need to worry about the document type if you don't want to uh, enter any kind of document type but why this is necessary this is necessary because if this is a payment entry and if you are choosing bank payment voucher if you are uh, working with bank receipt entries you need to fix this with the document type payment uh, if you want to search in future with the help of document type this will help easily uh, in the bank payment voucher screen when the back, uh, document type is, is equal to bank you can uh, I can assure you that uh, um, balance account type always be a bank account and in same vice versa in the bank receipt voucher uh, account type always be a bank account so this kind of uh, parameters if you assign you can assure uh, yourself that entry should be like this system will follow this parameters this condition you can restrict uh, the um, you can restrict the area you can restrict uh, your limitations your entry limitations your criteria you can follow the rules if you are using document type so this is based on your choice uh, you can use document type or you can leave it blank sometimes uh, when it is required so that's enough for the current session thank you thank you for listening and watching and please share your feedback to my uh, channel thank you